Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll discuss about one more concept in SQL that is data types supported in SQL. Data types in SQL. So in the previous session, we have started the SQL. So that is a structured query language. So there we have seen the introduction. So here, uh, First of all, let us see what is the data type and now then we will see what are the different data types supported in this particular SQL. So many of you might know about this data type because if you are aware about any one of the programming language, definitely you will be knowing about these data types. So don't worry if you don't know about the data types. So let me revise this concept once again. What is a data type? So here the type of value given is called as a data type so what is this type what is this type so in our computer terminology the complete data is divided into different types different types one is numeric strings okay and uh, some images etc etc different the data can be divided in different categories different categories right in the numeric we can get it as integers that means a whole numbers so we can simply call it as a whole numbers whole numbers real numbers complex numbers etc etc and similarly the strings we can call it as a characters and strings right so similarly the whole numbers here the whole numbers are represented as integers integers and real numbers are float float values the complex is complex and the characters are a characters and this is as usually we call it as a strings right so we have seen the basic concepts of RDBMS in that we have seen the concepts like entity or we can simply call it as a row or we can simply call it as a tuple. Similarly, columns. So columns or attributes. Attributes. So what we call these attributes? So these attributes are the characteristics of any entity. Okay, the characteristics of any entity we call it as attributes. So definitely these attributes holds some values, holds some values. And we have to define the attributes with this particular data types. Okay, so every value will be having the type, which type of data, which type of data. For example, if you want to store the student table, student table. So we need to give the attributes like a student ID student name student percentage so let us take only th these three so if you take the student id so it is just like 101 102 etc etc names some a b c or d e f etc etc and percentage 75.3 85.9 etc etc so you can see all these are whole numbers so this should be implemented by using integer. So we have to represent it as an integer. That means SID is an attribute which holds the numbers. What is this number type? It's an integer. So integer. Similarly, yes name. So this is a group of characters. We call it as a strings. We call it as a strings. And percentage. So these are float values, real numbers, right? So this will be represented as float. Right? So, the data type is a type of a value which is stored in an attribute, attribute or a variable, whatever it may be. So, now what are the different data types that are supported in SQL? Let us see. So, hope you got an idea about what is the data type, what is the data type, right? So, similar to our programming language concepts, 
so here also we are going to use the attributes and definitely while creating the table itself we have to define the attribute and we have to declare that attribute with the particular data type corresponding data type right so corresponding data type means the type of value which is being stored in the attribute now now what are the different data types so data types in sql so the first one is binary data type okay i will, I will let you know when we will, we will going to use this binary binary yes numeric strings date and time binary numeric strings and date and time and this binary is used to store the images in a database so similar to the values we can also store the images right so in order to store the images the data type is a binary okay and coming to the numeric again it is divided into two types one is approximate another one is exact that means approximate numeric data type exact numeric data type approximate means again it was divided into real data types and float data types that means which are having some decimal points okay the attribute which will holds the value which consists of some decimal points then those attributes should be declared by using real or a float so what is the difference between real and a float so one difference major difference is the range of values so real will support up to one range and float will support up to one range right so exact again coming to this exact the first one is bit either zero or one next one tiny int similar to our real and float there are different data types related to this exact which are differentiated with uh, the range of values that can support right so tiny int small int int big int decimal right so all these are comes under the exact exact numeric right so all are integers all are whole numbers but what is the difference means the range so bits are nothing but a zero or one tiny int means to store very less number of values that means the range is very less and small int, small int is also to store the uh, normal variable values that means a small values which are greater than tiny int but less than integer similarly big int which can store more number of values decimal right so the main difference among all these things is the range that can support and strings again divided into character varchar text so here the difference character varchar and text here here also the difference is a range of characters but one difference is character means it will store the fixed size of variable that means once you fix it the variable size it can't be modified okay but if you are using this varchar so we can modify the size of the data type also so we have to mention the size that means how many characters that particular attribute can hold should be mentioned here so that can be modified in the varchar which cannot be done in the character right so for example if you want to store the student name so if you use a character data type it can hold a fixed size value so we can't change okay fixed size but if you are using some varchar you can mention the size so that we can use only that particular size for example varchar of 30 so that implies so this particular attribute can hold a maximum of 30 characters as its student name 
so if you if the user wants to give the name which is greater than 30 that will not be accepted okay so that is the major difference between the character and the varchar so text is also similar to varchar and here the character means both the alpha and numeric alpha numeric okay for example if you want to store some pan number pan number so we know that a pan number will be having the alpha numeric variables alpha numeric characters okay it is a combination of digits and alphabets so if you want to use a pan as an attribute so you have to declare this pan as varchar so that it will accept both the alphabets and the numerical values right and the last one is a date and a time so in order to store the date as well as the time as well as a date and time so here we again it is classified into three categories so one is a date another one is a time another one is a date time date time so date means it will accept the four digit year four digit month two sorry two digit month and two digit day okay and the time will be hours minutes seconds and coming to this date time it will accept the four digit year two digit month two digit day two digit hours two digit minutes and two digit seconds right so this is the data type date time and date time so these are all the different data types available in sql okay don't get confused this is an sql so here where we are using this sql the question is where we are using this sql so this sql will be used in any one of the dbms tool okay so hope you understood so sql will be used in any one of the dbms tool what is a dbms tool so we say that dbms tool means oracle sql server mysql so all these are the different uh, database tools so we are going to use this sql in one among the dbms tool so this dbms tools doesn't support all the data types okay so these data types will be different in different dbms tools now let me say the common data types which can be used in all the dbms tools so the common data types are float so if you want to store the attribute value as a real number that means a number with a decimal value so use a float so this is accepted in all the dbms tools next integer can be used as integer or number so this is a common data type which can be supported in all the dbms tools where can varchar is also varchar and the character both are also the common data types which are used in all the dbms tools and similarly this date time date time so all these are also the common data types which are used in our dbms tools any dbms tool so i will write here float integer or a number so here also we can restrict the number of digits okay next character varchar varchar of size so here we have to mention the size date time date time so these are the common data types which can be supported by any dbms tools right but here you can observe the exact numeric data type will be having a lot of uh, variations so this is just because of size of the variable i mean the size it supports okay similarly the float and real also right so hope you understood about the data types i think you got an idea what is the data type and what are the different data types uh, supported in the sql and what are the common data types which are being supported by all the dbms tools the common data types 
so float integer variable characters date time and data so in our further sessions we are going to use these data types so while creating a table we are supposed to you give the attributes and those attributes do, should be defined with the help of a corresponding data types so there we are going to use these data types while creating the table so based upon this one we have to fill the data we have to give the value to the attribute so if any value which violates this data type automatically it will not be accepted to the attribute right so hope you understood the data types supported in sql and the uh, common data types which are supported by all the dbms tools so let's stop here and uh, uh, hope you understood this one and enjoyed the session so if you really enjoyed my session like my session share my session with your friends and if you are having any doubts regarding this one feel free to post your doubt doubts in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thanks for watching thank you very much